What's up? So today we're taking on a very <laughs> scary task. We're going to be looking at the top 10 worst designed Pokemon of Generation 8, Sword and Shield. I gotta say there are some really nice Pokemon of this generation, but there's been some other that I've seen that I just, I gotta be honest, I, I just absolutely hate. Bad designs, lazy designs, or just absolute rehashes of older Pokemon that I just can't so buckle up, I hope I won't offend, but no guarantees, and uh, let's get into this. Alright, so I figured why not start with one of the very first Pokemon you meet in the game, and that is Squavit. So Squavit is a Pokemon that we've seen exactly seven times before. Every single generation, we get a Squavit. In Gen 1, it was Rattata. In Gen 2, it was the Squirrel Pokemon Sentret. Every single generation since, pretty much, we've seen some sort of rehash of the weak normal type pokemon that you encounter on the first route it evolves into a not very good weak normal type and you never use it in the case of squavit it evolves into greedence which i also really just hate i hate truly how little divergences game freak takes things like this where it's literally like you, you just do the exact same thing and no one even likes it I get that you have to have weak Pokemon in the first rows, but it doesn't need to be the exact same thing. On top of that, we've seen Squirrels before. Sentret, for example. So it's not only bad and repetitive, it's not even a new looking Pokemon. Overall, really hate Squavit and Greedence, and uh, they come in at number 10. And now also talking about rehashes, I want to talk about the Galarian Meowth line. So in Generation 7, we had Alolan Meowth and Persian, which I really didn't particularly love, but they were at least different. Actually, this line is also different, but terrible. So Galarian Meowth doesn't look great, albeit pretty much just kind of a different Meowth, but its evolution, Perserker, is pure garbage. I hate Perserker. It's a worse looking Galarian Meowth and it's steel type. What about this Pokemon is steel? It's it's not steel. I'm sorry, it's just objectively not steel or metal or anything of that nature. It's got a bit of a clever name and it looks terrible and I'm sorry, but I hate it. Now moving on to number eight, we got a Pokemon that I don't necessarily hate, I'm just disappointed with, and this is more Pico. Okay, so more Pico, I actually like the idea for this Pokemon. Every single turn, it changes its design. That's kind of cool. Um, you know, we've seen other Pokemon like this and, and I'm okay with this idea. I'm actually kind of a fan of the designs as well. You know why? Well, you guys know why. This is Generation 8's new Pikachu. This is another thing that I just don't understand why Game Freak does. Every single generation, they do a Pikachu variant. In Gen 2, it was Pichu. Actually, not that bad. In Gen 3, it was Plusle and Minum. And it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And I just, I feel like nobody really truly likes any of these versions. We tolerate them, but they're just rehashes of Pikachu. So don't hate Pikachu. And I think it's a great idea, but it's just boring that it's another version of Pikachu. Now moving on to number seven, we've got Impidimp. So as an actual battling Pokemon, and, and for what it's worth, I don't hate the whole family. I really love the final evolution of this Pokemon Grimmsnarl, but there's something about Impidimp that I just don't like. It's just kind of creepy and, and, and weird, and I, 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 I don't like it. There's been a lot of Pokemon that I originally saw didn't like and have really warmed up to, but Impidimp is one that I just haven't been able to. Even knowing the beast that it turns into, I still don't love it. So I, I'm, I'm kind of sad about that, but uh, Impidimp is one that I don't hate. I, I don't have any hate for it. I just can't warm up to it. Now moving on to number six, this is a Pokemon I actually didn't know existed. I went through the entire Pokedex, making sure there wasn't anything I was missing, and this was the one that I was missing. This is Indeedy, a psychic normal type, kind of interesting, but like, my, my main question with this Pokemon is, did we really need it? As a psychic normal type, it is kind of cool that it resists Ghost, but other than that, there's just nothing special about this Pokemon. My issue with Ndidi is that it's just bland. It is just truly bland, and I just can't see anyone feeling the need to really have this on their team, 
other than for that typing, which isn't even that great. Now moving on to number five, we've got a Pokemon that I've looked at before, and this is Cremorant. Cremorant, the Stork water type Pokemon. Actually, my biggest qualm with this Pokemon is not so much of its look, but actually kind of what it stands for. And really it just stems from Pelipper. I just find Pelipper to be so similar to this Pokemon and it wasn't even removed from the generation decks. And when I look at Cramorant, I'm just like, we, we didn't need this. I mean, that's something that stands with every single Pokemon generation. You know, you get some that you just don't like, but this guy just to me feels very um, unnecessary. You just don't, unnecessary. You just, you don't need this Pokemon. Okay, so moving on to number four, we've got the laziest design of Generation 8. This is Silicobra and Sanaconda. Okay, so visually you can probably already see my issue with this Pokemon, but let me break down why these are so specifically terrible. Okay, so the obvious best is that they're just snakes. They are literally just snakes. The final evolution Sanaconda has himself wrapped around him but it's just a snake. The thing that makes me so mad about these two Pokemon is that they, they take words from ground. So they use the sill and sand words to give them the idea that, oh, they're these ground dwelling snakes. They live in the desert and they're ground Pokemon. Here's the thing about snakes. A lot of them live in desert areas. The thing that they tried to make unique with this Pokemon is an inherent trait of most snakes, which would be like the equivalent of calling a flying type Pokemon Bird Flymon, or calling it like Air Kitty. It's like, yeah, we, we know it exists in that it, it's a bird. And with these two Pokemon, it, it's the exact same thing, but for the ground. Now moving on to number three, a bit of a low blow here, but I kinda gotta say it. It is Galarian Stunfisk. Okay, I don't wanna hate on Stunfisk. He has gotten too much hate over the years and I, and I truly just wanna give him some love on this video. His new design is not that bad. It might even be better than the original, which isn't saying much, but still. My qual here is with Game Freak. Why did this get a Galarian form? There are so many cool Pokemon that are deserving of a new form and they went with Stunfisk, just unnecessary. And on top of that, it's it's really not much of a change in design. It's kind of lazy and really disappointing. Now moving on to number two, we've got probably the most hated Pokemon this season, this season, this generation, uh, probably the most standout, just pure bad one. You know, every season you get that Pokemon where people are like, oh, it's literally just a bunch of gears, or it's literally a keychain, or it's literally, I don't know, an ice cream cone. Okay, I think I, I, that was all Gen 5, but, but bear with me. You always get that Pokemon where it's like, oh, it's literally just this, it's literally just that. Well, this time it's literally a penguin with an ice block on its head. This is Eskew. So he's actually got two forms and I'm really not sure which one I hate more. The first one is the penguin with like this weird sort of circular head. And then the second one is when he sticks his head in the snow and comes out with a giant block of ice. And really at the end of the day, I, got, I gotta say again, like this is just not the design that we need. Have we really had many penguin Pokemon? Okay, Piplup, but Piplup is very cool. And, and don't you talk bad about Piplup. Okay, there's not a lot of penguin Pokemon, and I feel like this is just a very bad take on a penguin. The thing that makes this Pokemon even worse, though, is its ability. When it has its ice face thing going on, it doesn't actually take damage. And once you finally manage to get it off, if it hails, it comes back. So not only is it just a bad looking Pokemon, it's actually very frustrating to battle and I feel like this only made me dislike it more. I mean, you know, like despite the fact that it actually is like a pretty good Pokemon. Anyways though, let's move on. So I actually wanted to throw in a really funny and just quick honorable mention. Duraludon is a Pokemon that I have grown to appreciate because he's so good. However, okay, I've always felt really intimidated by this Pokemon until I saw this in the Pokedex. Okay, yeah, you know what? Um, I'm really not scared of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not scared of this thing anymore. <laughs> After doing that, he is the most derpy thing I've ever seen. This was just an animation I, I didn't need to know about for Duraludon. I really thought it was just a bipedal Pokemon and seeing this just 
I've lost a lot of respect for this Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways though, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to number one. This is actually a three-way tie. So in the video, I talked about the 20 strongest Pokemon. These guys came up at the very start and they are the fossil Pokemon. And these Pokemon are Dracozolt, Dracovish, and Arctozolt. Wow. Wow. So as far as creativity goes, you know, I, I don't even know if I could say that these deserve creativity. I mean, it's really not that ingenious to be like, let's just chuck the body of one Pokemon to the head of another and call it unique. Erktovish is the fourth fossil that I don't think that looks awful, but these other three are just scary. They're actually fairly strong Pokemon with good typing and the fact that they look like this just ruined them for me. They could have been cool. They actually could have been kind of cool, and they're just not. If there was a way to combine the same fossil with the same fossil and just make like a Draco, Draco or, or something like that, I'd be interested. But what we got going on here is just, it, they're just, they're just disappointing. They're weird, creepy wastes of potential, and I'm really actually sad about that. Would have loved to use these Pokemon, but I'm just never going to be able to due to their look, so. For that reason, they deserve the number one spot. Because it's not always the worst when a bad Pokemon looks bad, but when a good Pokemon looks bad, it's just, it's disappointing. Anyways though guys, that is gonna be our list for today. I hope you don't hate me. Um, this was just my own thoughts on some of the worst ones in the game. A lot of people have been requesting me to do something a little bit more, um, less positive, I guess. There are a ton of Pokemon I do like in this new season, but I did wanna just kinda give a rant for my least favorite. Anyways, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe for more Pokemon or Fortnite content. Uh, leave a like if you can, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, you freaking nerds.